Hello everyone. Today we are going to revise current affairs for prelims environment 2021. The first topic is whale stranding in Tasmania. It was in the news. We have seen that the whales are lying down on Tasmania beaches. The reason is not so sure. It is said that the whales sometimes sick or injury. They will be lying down. Or they may be following one another, another upon another one. Like one whale comes, the other one also follows. It is also said that sometimes it may be panic, they will come. Or sometimes to have uh, fishes or near to the shallow waters, they come. You, due to various reasons, they come near to the beaches, but in later they die and that's how the so many Tasmanian beaches are full of whales every year around 2000 whales die in Tasmania beaches reason is not so important here we should know what is and where is Tasmania Tasmania is south located south to the Australia this is the location we should know and that's all for this topic uh, and it is also said that whales are in ICN it is least concerned and in size it is appendix too and it is also said that it is also called as pilot whale due to its uh, short fin legs short fin pilot whales The next topic we are moving is whale stranding in Tasmania. Recently, we have seen 450 pilot whales have died in Australian large, largest mass stranding event. That is, more numbers of whales have died this year in Tasmania Beach. The reason is not sure but they are said that sometimes it is they come to the shallow water in search of prey or sometimes they come uh, to enjoy the beaches near shallow water they say that they get more number of fishes or prey if they come near to the shallow water sometimes they may be not well or sometimes they get injury so they come near to the beaches but every year 2000 whales die near to the beaches especially every year we see that in the news there are so many whales lying down on the beaches so this year it was more a number that is 450 uh, pilot whales have died now the news which is important for us is Tasmania the location is south to the Australia a few information about uh, pilot whale is it is also called as Globicephala melas there are two species in this pilot whale one is short fin and then one is long fin and they prefer oceanic water and uh, they are uh, there are being documented near the arctic sea antarctic sea in sites it is in appendix 2 and in iocene it is least concern the next topic is methane hydrate recently a study is going on in krishna godavari basin on methane hydrate the methane hydrate it is said to be a said to be a greener fuel in future it will be of much importance because it produces less carbon dioxide and it will reduce the pollution and it will have a less impact on the global climate so that is the main reason the study is going on it is said to be a crystalline form and it is produced or formed wherever there is high pressure and low temperature that is in oceans and permafrost areas and in subtropical regions or in polar regions and the more about this methane hydrate is it is said to be a clean fuel so uh, their studies are going on so that they will produce it for us future use 
it is said that one cubic meter of methane hydride consumes 160 to 180 cubic meter of methane it is also revealed that in krishna godavari basin that in other parts of uh, in southern india we are also finding out methane if that is in andaman and mahanadi basins also this was found it is said to be It is said to be the lowest estimate of methane is present in Krishna Godavari Basin, that is twice that of all fuel fuel reserves. Methane myhydrate is, if produced in future, uh, is said to be uh, impacting less, which you know that because of global climate change, it is uh, having a lot of effect on environment. A lot of species have been extinct and it is also impacting the human and it is said to be a jackpot if it is produced in a proper manner which is having a lot of benefits to human it is said to be a fire ice because it is in crystal form it will be exactly looking like a ice and it is very difficult to handle or remove from the temperature pressure environment that it becomes unstable when if removed that is the main reason till now we have not yet seen methane hydrate use much the next topic is phenotypic plasticity in culling of rock now what is phenotypic plasticity we have to know what is phenotype plasticity first that is according to the environment according to the environment the phenotypic characters that is the outer appearance or development or behavior changes in that is called as phenotypic plasticity it was recently seen in kalinga frog that is kalinga cricket frog the scientific name of that is Fijarvaraya Kalinga. It was, it is thought to be endemic, but it was found in the Eastern Ghats in Odisha and Andhra Pradesh. They are the in crickets, frogs are indicators of healthy ecosystem. And they are found in various habitat that is in agriculture, field streams, farms, etc. The scientific name is not so important we have to just know that what is phenotypic plasticity and in which uh, species it was found the next topic is nandankan zoological park nandankan zoological park is in odisha recently there were two deaths of sloth bear the reason of death is not known but the importance of zoological park we should know it is in odisha and it is the first zoo where where uh, breeding of the indian pangolin and white tiger has taken place it is the first world's first captive breeding center and is also gharials were uh, found or and were breeding over there and it is the first country to become a member of world association of zoos and aquarium it's mouse deer, lions, rattle, and vulture also bred here. Now coming to sloth deer. The scientific name is not so important. Malurasis orsonesis habitat. It is found in the tropical and subtropical regions of India and Sri Lanka. The pro status is vulnerable in IUCN, Appendix 1 Insights, and Schedule 1 of Indian Wildlife Protection Act 1932. Threads are habitat loss and poaching for the body parts. And it is also found to be very uh, this very aggressive behavior and it also destroys a lot of crops nearby the fields. Himalayan black bear. It is it is scientific name is also Thibitinus habitat. It's also called as Asiatic black bear. Habitat is found in southern and Asia, east, eastern Asia. Protection status is vulnerable. Niocene, Appendix 1 insights and Schedule 1 of 
Indian Wildlife Protection Act 1972. That is illegal hunting for body parts and expansion of human settlements. Thank you.